All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, a pretty common topic that I get on a like a day-to-day -day basis, uh, and that's why I got a V6. Uh, why didn't I Why didn't I save my money and get an SS, or why didn't I get an SS in the first place? Um, so there's a couple of reasons, uh, but we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, so the first reason, uh, so before this, I don't think I really have any more footage of it anymore. Um, but I did have a 2008 Dodge Ram 1500 with a six inch lift, BDS lift, Fox shocks, uh, 20 by 12s, mud tires and everything. Um, so I had that, got terrible gas mileage, got about uh, nine city and about 12 or 13 highway. So was not very efficient whatsoever. Um, at the time, I was getting ready to drive about six and a half hours to stay at uh, Richmond, Virginia uh, for an internship. So I needed something a little bit more uh, fuel economic. Um, so I listed my truck up for sale, started having problems going wrong with it, had to replace uh, had to replace the water pump, the front steering rack was leaking, um, just started having things going wrong with it. So I was basically trying to get out from underneath it before I lost my butt on it, since I mean, it had like a $5,000 lift kit on it. Um, so I would say the number one reason was that was uh, fuel economy and just trying to get out of the truck so I didn't lose any money. Um, then going on number two, uh, I would say having the right deal. Um, it was a big thing when I had the truck when I listed it for sale. I had a couple people ask me for trades. Um, I had a Cobalt SS. Uh, I had this Camaro. Uh, what else did I have? I also had like a four-door SUV and kind of like an older truck. Uh, so I kind of had a little bit of options. I was dead set on trading my car in for either an SS Camaro or a Mustang GT, at least a 2011. So I wanted the 5.0 Coyote motor. Um, however, unfortunately, uh, this Camaro came up. He wanted to trade straight up with me. Uh, financially at the time, it was this car was worth about three to four thousand dollars more than the truck was Kelly Blue Book and uh, whatever the other one is. I think it's like Nada. Uh, so it was worth more. So financially, it was a good idea. Better gas mileage, half the amount of mileage. When I got this car, it had fifty-five thousand miles on it. Uh, my truck had one hundred and fifty-seven, so about a hundred thousand miles less. Uh, it was two years newer and got way better gas mileage. Uh, and I kind of want to get back into a sports car because if you guys watch my old videos from a long time ago, I used to have a Mustang. Um, so I kind of want to get back into a sports car. Uh, so that's another reason. And then I would say the third reason, uh, this was kind of not really a reason. It's kind of more of a perk of having a V6 than anything. Uh, and that's just insurance and the cost of basically maintaining. Uh, so insurance wise, uh, it is cheaper to have a V6 than it is to have a V8, obviously. Um, it's more or less for you younger guys. Um, so like if you're just turning 16 uh, and you're basically like under 21, 22 when you don't have too much experience, insurance rates are gonna be a lot higher on a faster car than they are gonna be on a V6. Um, that's just how it is. And I would say the probably, I don't know, this is kind of a toss up between, the, uh, between selling the truck because trying to get out from underneath it and just doing it in general. I would say another one of the biggest reasons is that I didn't want to take out a loan. My truck was paid for. So I didn't want to take out a loan and basically be paying on a car. Uh, and then so basically I traded straight up for this car when I had my truck. So I didn't have any more payments or anything. Uh, so basically the car is mine. All I have to pay for it is gas, insurance, uh, oil change, and like scheduled maintenance uh, that you would usually do on cars. Uh, that's the only things I have with this car. Trust me, I want to get an SS Camaro uh, or a new Mustang GT. I just can't fathom trading this car in and taking out a loan for sixteen to twenty thousand uh, dollars. Right now, I mean, I could afford it, but why put a three to four hundred dollar car payment on me a month for the next, say, four, five, six years? Uh, to me, it's just not a very smart move. Um, so that's kind of one of the options or one of the reasons why I'm actually deciding to mod this car rather than buy a new car. Uh, so basically, like I said, everything's paid for this car. So everything I put on it is basically coming out of my own money. It's not money I owe or I don't have. Uh, so slowly, I'm progressively modding this car to basically get to the one, like the standard of power uh, and speed, I guess you could say, 
of what I wanted of having like a VA or an SS. Um, plus, another reason is like, not, I mean, this is probably gonna get a lot of hate in the comments, but everybody has an SS Camaro, everybody has a Mustang GT. Uh, yes, a lot of people have V6s, but not a lot of people build V6s. Uh, a lot of people build V8s, but not V6. So I kind of want to stand out from the crowd also. Uh, I've already put a lot of time and money in this car and dedication to it to try to make it look how it does now. Uh, so I kind of want to continue that path and basically make it into a car that I want and stand out from the crowd. So currently, I'll leave a uh, description down below, but currently I have a 76 millimeter throttle body, a uh, cold air intake, a cat back exhaust, and a trifecta tune. Uh, and I actually have long tube headers that are being delivered tomorrow. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to put those on. Hopefully by the end of this month, just gotta find a place to install them and actually have the time to install them from work. Um, so obviously it's still not gonna be super fast or anything. It's still just a V6, but it's gonna definitely stand out and uh, surprise a couple of the car, a couple of cars. I mean, obviously it's not gonna beat no 5.0 or anything. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You gotta work with what you got. Um, like I said, I don't want to have a payment, so that's the biggest factor of me not, uh, or basically upgrading this car, is not to have a payment on another car that I'm going to want to spend four or $5,000 on modding it, too. So, my overall plans for this car, um, as I just mentioned, I am going to put long tube headers on this car. Uh, that will be at the here by the end of the month. Um, it'll be done by the end of September for sure. Uh, whether or not I have to do it myself, uh, which I could do, it's just going to be a little harder because I don't have access to a lift. Um, but So it's going to be done by the end of this month regardless. But my overall plans for this car are hopefully by the end of this year uh, or the beginning of next year is to have this car pro-charged uh, with Overkill Supercharger. Basically stage one, I think it puts about 400 wheel horsepower roughly. And uh, stage two is like 420, stage three he's working on currently for the LLT, but I think it's gonna be around 450, 460 because that's water meth injection. Uh, so that's the overall plan for the build. Uh, definitely having a Pro Charge V6 will definitely surprise a lot of people. Uh, it will definitely stand out. I mean, there are a couple people out there like Camaro ZLS, there's other people uh, like uh, Hyperhawk that has like the fastest six gen uh, V6. So basically I kind of want to stand out from the crowd like those guys are and have something that not a lot of people do. And I don't know, it's just going to be, it's going to be an interesting experience. Uh, personally, I think 420 horsepower for like a stage two supercharger kit on a V6 is going to be plenty. Uh, I mean, obviously everybody wants more. The old standard used to be like 500 horsepower. That was a fast car. Now it's like, you're, if you're not pushing a thousand, it's not really that fast. Um, but I mean, anything, I could easily get in trouble with this car now and it's probably pushing 280 to the wheels. So I mean pushing 420 in a V6, that's still plenty enough power. It's more than you can than more than you need on the streets. If it's gonna be a track car, I understand that, but if it's not gonna be a track car, why have a thousand horsepower other than just other than it's cool and it sounds good. Um, so those are really the main reasons of why that I have a V6 and why I'm keeping my V6 and I'm not actually trading it in for an SS. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, advice, anything like that, leave it down in the comment sections below. Uh, I'll be more than happy to reach out and help any of you guys if you guys have any issues or anything. Um, and let me know what you guys think of, I guess, my car and my build and what I'm wanting to do with it. Uh, I know a lot of people out there are going to be like, man, you should have got a V8. You're spending too much money on the V6. But honestly, it's, it's, it is what I have. So I got it. And I'm not gonna spend no fifteen, twenty thousand dollars on a new SS, and then want to put a cold air intake, an exhaust, a headers, a tune, all that kind of stuff on it. Because I'm just spending money I don't have, and I'm just gonna be more in debt for five, six years. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down below. Please make sure you subscribe and like this video and share. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get you guys some more content now that my work schedule is studied out, like I mentioned in my previous video. Uh, so we're gonna try to make some pretty good content for you guys. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just to give you guys a quick bonus clip, uh, basically getting ready to pull onto the streets of Mexico. So I will show you guys a little pool. Don't forget we're in Mexico.